I would like to ask uh, Mr. Gettner uh, about um, the way that the, they have arranged to do the asset management uh, for the new program that have been rolled out. You mentioned that there are five fund managers to manage the program with Treasury, and you set out the qualifications. Who will these five fund managers be? Uh, we don't know yet. We have to see who applies and who Is it possible Goldman Sachs could be one of them? It is possible if they, if they are qualified, we would consider Were they that included the in the uh, one of the managers uh, when Mr. Paulson first rolled out the asset management program before he pulled it back? Was Goldman Sachs one of those five? I don't know, but I'd be happy to go back and check. I'll check it. Uh, let me tell you why I asked that. Uh, you hear a lot about the dissatisfaction, about the bonuses, etc. But underneath all of this, um, is a conversation about the linkages and the connections of the small group of uh, Wall Street types that are making decisions. Uh, and I just want to ask you, because you may be able to clear some of this up, uh, it, is, it is true that Goldman Sachs receives money from AIG, is that right? That is true. How much was that? Uh, I don't have the. I don't know exactly, but I'd be happy to make sure. You okay, we'll program. find out. And also, they receive money from the TARP program, Goldman Sachs. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, and Goldman Sachs is where Mr. Paulson uh, really spent much some time of his career. Is that right? Absolutely. Your CEO, um, your that you hired to work with you, is from Goldman Sachs also. My CEO. Well, whomever works for you. I don't want to. I don't want to get the nuances to the point where we misunderstand each other. There are, there are. Do you have your chief of staff? Is your chief of staff from Goldman Sachs? My chief of staff, uh, who is a. Just tell me. I don't have much time. But, but Congressman, my chief of staff did spend some time. Working, he worked for Goldman Sachs. Time working in the past for Goldman Sachs. That's correct. Okay, that's all I want to know. Uh, then I want to know was. Was Goldman Sachs involved uh, with the decision uh, that was made uh, that weekend before they came to the Congress no. to ask for money for this, on the sale of Bear Stearns? No. Was anybody from Goldman Sachs involved in that discussion that weekend? Well, let, let, me, let me go back on this. At the time when Bear Stearns was on the brink of default and the Federal Reserve then acted to try to avoid default, there were a range of institutions that considered buying and assuming the obligations okay. of Bear Stearns. I, I, context, I really wish I had time for you to go into it, but Goldman Sachs was involved in some way in that decision based on whether or not, not, not they were considering uh, the purchase themselves or they were advising about it. Is that correct? No, not, not in the decision. And, uh, in some way. Us. Certainly we're not advising us. No. In some way they were involved. Well, there were a whole range of institutions that Bear Stearns approached. Were they also buy. involved in the decision to um, not support Lehman Brothers? No. In no way? No. All right. Those that, are decisions made by your government. Just, I am just asking the questions because the talk is underneath, which you may not know about, is that uh, this small group of uh, decision makers at the center of it is Goldman Sachs and that's what's causing a lot of the distrust uh, because people are thinking or believing that uh, Goldman Sachs uh, because of the connections have had a lot to do with the decisions that are being made now on the the big fund is there some reason why you only have to have five managers uh, involved in this fund uh, with at least 500 million in private capital, this eliminates a lot of uh, uh, firms being involved. And we believe that Goldman Sachs will again be one of those who will be the beneficiary. Well, as I said, we're going to run an open competitive process <coughs> so that the taxpayer of the United States enjoys the best type of expertise in managing these funds. And there's some obvious practical concerns why about why we can only have a limited number do it. but. Uh, can I just come back to your basic premise, Congressman? Of course I'm aware of this concern. I think it's deeply unfair to the people who are part of these decisions to suggest that they were making judgments that in their view were not in the best interest of the American people. But I understand that concern. I understand that concern. 